Hi folks, this is Bill. I got a story to tell you about priming a cottage water pump. I'm going to show you a priming my... system for a lake source water pump. I've got a expansion tank, a little pump, uh, suction piping from the lake, and uh, this is the original priming system. Now I want to show you a little bit later on another video how I actually have accomplished this uh, priming process which I'm sure some of you have spent hours in the springtime trying to do at a cottage I can reduce that to one minute discharge of the pump I put an isolation valve in for the main water system I added a uh, valve here and a valve here with hose bib fittings in order to connect a guzzler pump now this is a positive displacement diaphragm pump and uh this will pull the water back up from the lake into the pump to prime it, send the excess water into my water system. So let's give that a try. And I, I would predict that I've reduced my several hours of irritation down to a few pump strokes. It looks something like this. Hear that water? That's water that's pulling from the lake, going into the pump. And there's the water coming into my pump. Now I'm fully, okay, so I'm fully primed at the pump. Now, caution here, make sure you isolate this little diaphragm pump before you hit the main pressure pump because it's only plastic and it could rupture. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so I have pressure being developed already. You hear the change in sound. I'm going to shut it off and go check for leaks up in the system. Now, my starting point for the system is uh, in the fall, I would disconnect at this point dry out my entire pumping and distribution system and i leave the line the lake flooded so now i under normal conditions maybe the foot valve would leak back a bit but basically uh, i don't worry about the 40 uh, below zero temperatures i just let the whole thing freeze and i've never broken a line originally i was really worried about that few years ago but I realized that it's just a non-event so uh, you must protect the pump but the line of the lake seems to be just fine so uh, here's uh, how it happened. okay so that pump took about 30 seconds to come up to a set point and I'm still isolated from the main system so I'm going to uh, just open the isolation I've got my block valves closed for the little pump and uh, Let's see here. I'm gonna give this a little water. And there's a pump again. 